Okay, it's your boy, I'm back. Prayer. Y'all see the book, y'all see me, but let's get to it. Prayer is something that I'm going to explain from my own personal point of view. Is that for prayer to be prevalent or seen in your life, I mean, not just you praying, but to see the results of your prayer, you got to believe. You actually have to believe that God exists. You have to actually believe that Jesus came and died on the cross and rose up in three days. You have to believe these things. He said, because you can have the faith of a mustard seed and move mountains. But see, that faith goes hand in hand with prayer. See, when you're praying and you have that type of faith, you'll see things happen. Because let me make this clear from my own personal point of view. Prayer for me started on the inside. See, what I didn't understand was... The Bible says, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So by me praying and being frivolous and just being candid, I was just asking for stuff. God, I need some money or I want a better job. I want a nicer car. I want a place. I want to do, it. I mean, a little tedious stuff. Because the stuff I was asking for, God, like, you can get that on your own. Ask me for stuff that you know you don't have access to. So what I learned to do was, okay, first I got to really believe that you're going to do this for me. So now that my faith has started growing and started being intact, my prayer started changing. Because what happened was the inside of me started really resonating with what the word of God was saying. And it said faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. So you got to think about this. When Jesus went off to pray, he went by himself. He went to a solitude place, but they said he would look up. And pray. So when I'm in my, my my space where it's just me and God, like when I get, like I said, we get up in the morning, I go walk with me and God, we have magnificent conversations. Sometimes I'm just listening. Sometimes he allows me to speak and he's just paying attention to me. But when I come back home and after I done worked out and got myself together, it's time for me to be quiet, to really listen and see what he says. Because sometimes he don't say nothing. Sometimes he say, man, just, just, just enjoy my presence. And I don't know about y'all, but that's like the most serene and peaceful place I've ever been because I'm in a quiet place. My eyes are wide open, but it's completely dark and I'm listening. All right, anything that try to come on, I, I, I throw it out. I'm like, okay, God, I'm here. What do you want to say to me? And that's what I'm at right now. So what he wants me to tell y'all is that when you start getting prayer down on the inside of you, it's going to start showing up on the outside of you. That might not make sense. That might not make sense, but your demeanor going to change. Your character is going to remain intact because he chose you because of your character. But your integrity and your morale or your morality may increase to a different degree. Because what I learned was instead of me seeing things negative about people, I learned to start not looking at their flaw, but look at the prayer that's needed in that area of their life. You get what I'm saying? So I have to learn to start instead of just like... Man, I don't like the way he do this. Man, let me pray for that part of that brother's life. Well, let me pray for that part of that sister's life. And it really does change things about it because now when prayer is intact in your life, you don't attack people when prayer is intact with you. I wanted to make sure y'all get that clear. When prayer is intact in your life, you won't attack people because you're going to learn to pray for them. You're going to learn to uh, have compassion for them that you never thought about before but what you understand is that God is real and he's going to make it happen for them the way he made it happen for you see I'm not going to be before you alone see I did this one earlier but I didn't like it so I'm like Lord give me what you want to say and all he wants you to know is prayer is just like this conversation like I'm talking to this camera and whosoever's listening is listening this is the same thing with God and a lot of times when you learn to pray it's not about praying certain prayers out the Bible this and that talk to God like you talk to somebody you trust Thank you, Jesus. That's what he wants y'all to understand. Whoever you trust and have the most respect for, that's how you talk to God. And then you need to have more trust and more respect for God than you do that person. Because now, you two are going to build up a communication where you're going to have unctions or as they say, uh, a second sense or, or my first mind told me to do this. That's his spirit moving about you and starting to show you things and re revealing things that you didn't know was there. So really pay attention to that because... God's going to show up in many ways when that prayer life starts to become intact. When you do it on a perpetual basis. Even if you, like, it ain't about forget to pray. Like the Bible says, pray without ceasing. People are like, well, how can I pray without ceasing? I got to work all day long. I'll be working. My thing is someday, do it out today. I just be like, Lord, thank you. And I might see somebody or hear somebody say something. And I, in my spirit, in my shalana, I go and pray for them right then and there. So that's all prayer is. It's a movement of your spirit to connect with God, to not just be a blessing 
to yourself, but to be able to bless somebody else. When you get to that point, God's going to make magnificent things happen. Well, listen, it's your boy. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Bam. Y'all see the, uh, uh, see the shoulders. Y'all see the book. It's me. It's always love. Till next time. I love y'all. Peace.